Welcome back to Sunrise Daily, coming to you live from our Abuja studio. I do have with me this morning Senator Itai Inang, who is the Senior Special Assistant to the President on National Assembly Matters and, of course, a member of the Governing All Progressives Congress. You're very welcome to the program, sir. Thank you very much. Well, uh, Nigerians have expressed a lot of concern over uh, uh, events unfolding in Akwaibom State concerning the, the State House of Assembly there. Uh, there's obviously multiple perspectives, and I, I want to just get yours this morning. Uh, is your party in the wrong here uh, concerning what has unfolded in the Akwaibom State House of Assembly? Well, let me say that uh, as a member of that, as a former member of that house, and a trustee of the legislature, I should not ordinarily descend into this matter. And I'm not getting into this matter as... Um, I'm getting on, the, on this matter to the extent that the All Progressive Congress and the Nigeria Police and Federal Institution has been accused wrongly of um, being a party to this matter. The APC has, not, has done, done, done anything wrong in this matter because what happened was that the, there is defection politics in Nigeria and you are aware that there, is a lot of, there were a lot of defections and still ongoing from PDP to APC, from PDP, from APC to PDP to SDP and others. And there is a way that it is traditionally managed. That is, you allow the members to stay and just allow the spirit of comrade to operate. I urge the governor of Akwaibom State, because at this stage I cannot, I will not be, I will not address the speaker. I respect him, I respect all of them. And they're my friends and I've been trying to make everything to get, get well. But the intervention of the governor of the state, getting and leading men, which I will not describe with the appropriate name he led, including his aid, to the floor of the House of Assembly was wrong. Now, there is a way that um, Senate President Saraki and even the immediate past Senate President, Senator David Mark, managed defection. There is a way that Tambowa in the Seventh Assembly and um, Dogara in this Eighth Assembly managed the faction politics. The, primary, the, the presiding officers, Dogara and the Senate President, have defected from APC to PDP. They have not lost their seat. What the governor would have done, because I say these, these are all instigated and led by the governor of the state, that five members have defected from PDP to APC. And he, he, he instigates that they should lose their seats because they have done that. And I want to remind the governor that earlier, a member defected from the APC to the PDP in that State House of Assembly, he didn't lose his seat. Uh, the uh, police uh, has not... Distinguished, yeah. I'm sorry to interrupt you. You'll certainly conclude your thoughts. We just have to take a very short break. Uh, certainly we'll be back in a moment. Our viewers, do stay with us. Welcome back to Sunrise Daily, coming to you live from our Abuja studio, where I am discussing the Akwaibom State House of Assembly crisis with the Senior Special Assistant to the President on National Assembly uh, Matters and a member of the APC, Senator Ita Inang. So you were just concluding your thoughts. Yeah. I want to say that um, the police in this matter were simply maintaining law and order and avoiding breach of the peace. And when, and when there were so much contestations on the floor, and in the premises. The, the police occupied the premises. And when the Senate ordered that they should vacate the premises, in obedience, the police vacated the premises. And they were, they were sitting by the house. And the governor is said to have led men to, to interfere on the floor. Now, yeah. Go, please go ahead, finish yeah. your thought. Now, I want to say that the police I have heard the governor, His Excellency Governor Odom Emmanuel, say that the commission of police should be, de should be redeployed or should be removed. And I want to say that all the while, the police were working with him. And he is protected by a, over 30, 40 policemen. Is he asking for all the policemen to be withdrawn? And it is the same police that His Excellency Governor Odom Emmanuel used with officers of other state security to prevent me from entering the airport, you well, know? Uh, he uses the police at all times. Uh, now now that the people are doing what they're supposed to do impartially, 
He's now asking that they be removed. I, wanna, I, I think it just, is wrong. I want to be clear that we're staying on issue here because, you know, uh, out, of, uh, out of respect for alternative perspectives on this issue, yes, sir. Uh, we understand that uh, the, from the governor's uh, point of view, he has said that uh, what he did in terms of his physical presence that day at the State House of Assembly with the men around him had to do with a response to what he said was an illegal, uh, you know, abetting, if you will, by the Nigerian police of a, a few uh, minority lawmakers to the effect of, I think it's about five of them, five of that them. wanted to gain access and potentially impeach the speaker. Now, in view of that uh, kind of rationale, would you say that, you know, it's just a simple case of the governor uh, abusing process here, or is it not a reaction to what the, the, the ruling party in the country uh, had done that day? No, I, I think it is not. Um, the members were legitimately there because the members, and we are of the opinion that defecting from one political party to the other, unless the legal processes are completed, does not uh, um, entitle your seat to be uh, declared vacant because there is precedence and that is the way it is practiced. No, but and the uh, governor in fairness, cannot... In, in fairness, Senator, if you're saying that it, it, they had a right to be there, even if, even if it's taken for granted yes, that the defection, that uh, the, their seats should not have been vacated, even if you want to settle down on that idea, can they begin a proceeding with a number of five out of just uh, short of 30 lawmakers? Is that enough to form a quorum, for example, in, in legal terms? for them to have been able to achieve what they tried to achieve, achieve that day? First, there was no attempt to impeach the governor. There is no such issue. I think the fear, I know the fear the of the governor. The speakership first. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, that is internal to them, and, and I, don't, I don't know that, I don't think there was. But the fear of the governor was that, and is still that, there are a total of 11 members. Five have openly declared their defection. The other six were to declare and join so that there's a, it's a 26 member House of Assembly, so that they will now have 13 for PDP and nine for, I mean, and 11 for PDP or thereabout. Therefore, this is what the governor tried to prevent by physically being present to uh, stall, uh, to forestall it. On the internal matters between and amongst the legislators themselves, we leaders across party lines and former members of the House are interested. And we're trying to see the extent to which we can put the parties, the honorable members together, so that they can go back and sit as one. And in this matter, I said at the beginning, and I say again, I am not interfering or, or, or getting into the internal legislative floor matters amongst the members. My concern is, as a leader of the party in the state, is to prevent and to, give, and to avoid giving the impression that the governor and the members of the AP, the, the members of the APC are the aggressors in this matter. And the governor of the PDP cannot go intimidating and harassing our members on the floor or who are, who are members and others who have joined us but are wanting opportunity to declare and join our camp. He cannot go and stop them, stop proceedings, and we still watch, we simply watch as a party and allow it do. To get an alternative perspective, we're going to throw it now over to Lagos, uh, where my colleague Chamberlain is standing by with a new guest.